Hey, 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 happy Get Up and Go Challenge Day 21. Sharon Horn Nelson here. Back to and working on our soap framework again. And today we're talking about the A in soap. What does that mean? Of course, it means action. It means to take action. If we think about our framework, who, what, where, when, why, and how, and we, if we go to action, what kind of questions we need to ask ourselves with respect to taking action on something? How about what do we need to do? We're going to talk about that a little bit in depth today. How do we know what it is that we should take action on? Then there's always the when should we take action? Here's the deal. The only time we can ever act, the only time we can ever choose, the only time we can ever decide is right now in this very instant. The past is the past, it's gone. There is nothing, no matter how much we commiserate over it or feel bad about it or regret or beat ourselves up for it, there isn't a thing we can do to change something that we've done in the past. So anything, any second that's come before, yeah, let's go ahead and learn the lesson from it, but let's stop beating ourselves up and commiserating over and feeling bad and like victims and sorry for ourselves for things that have happened in the past. Let's continue to move forward. The future, guess what? It hasn't happened yet. Is your future guaranteed? News flash, no, sorry, it's not. My future is not guaranteed. I got a big wake up call and learned that 10 years ago when I had a sudden cardiac arrest. Was walking, boom, dropped dead. Can happen to each and any one of us. And that's a scary thing, but not really scary because it makes sure that we actually make decisions, make choices, do things now to impact our future, to make sure that we're gonna have the best possible future for the time that we are here on the planet. So, action. Then, how do we know? How do we know what to do? What the heck? How do we how do we decide? And that's part of why we brainstormed all kinds of options yesterday. I'm gonna go into in depth a little bit today on a model that I forgot about that helped me yesterday with options to decide and, and pick out and think about who are the people I'm here to serve? Who am I with respect to relationships? Because I'm working on the R for relationships of our seven areas of our life. The keys, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, relationships, financial, and contribution. And I'm working on the relationship area. And I have committed to myself that this time through the model, the SOAP framework, I am going to really, really narrow down and pick one specific group of people I serve, one niche market. Because as much as I, I try to focus on and teach other people to do that, and I, I get them to do that, I, if I'm being very honest with myself, have not been awesome at doing that. I've always had at least two or three different markets going on that I'm serving simultaneously. And as I've moved online, that's the exact opposite thing that we wanna do. I was talking to a coaching student last night about He's got a very specific skill set and niche and problem that he is currently solving for himself. And we're trying to expand his thinking in terms of, he's like, I don't understand how anybody could ever make a million dollars. How do people make a million dollars? How do people make a billion dollars? And he was trying to wrap his head mathematically around different ways. And so I said, well, you can take this specialized knowledge thing that you are creating for yourself and you can offer it to other people online. You create it once and it solves your problem. You're your first case study and then you can offer it to a few other people and you have more case studies and now you've proven that this is a specific solution to a problem that there isn't currently a solution for for this particular group of people. And you already know that there's at least a thousand of these people every year so you can easily turn that into a million dollar business that is passive in that you created the solution once and then you can sell it over and over and over again. Thank you, power of the internet. So he was he was believing that that's way too small a, a group of people to serve and we all inherently think that. I thought that in the offline world, I thought think that and I thought that in the online world for the longest time. But I've watched time and time again people that have gone specific modeling, right? We're modeling, we're learning from other people what works, what doesn't work. Every single person that started out specific and served and solved a specific problem has just exploded and become really, really successful. Everybody, including me, the, that has stayed broad in general, tried to serve many masters. And I should know this because I remember how painful it was to work for two bosses at the same time when I was back in corporate America. So what's this model I'm talking about? And what did I use to help narrow down my options? And what can you use? We wanna look at problem solving decision making tools it can be as simple as thinking about the positives and the, and the negatives of anyone. I call it the plus and minus exercise to 
any of the, the things that are on your list. So I had a bunch of things on my list and I realized that I was already doing some of them. I had already taken action on some of them in terms of how do you identify your ideal dream clients and customers and doing a challenge with a lady about branding because part of what I'm working on personally for my business is, is really honing in on my personal brand because Pajama Grandma needs to uh, stop existing and, 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 be, and be busted out of that. So what is this model? I learned this earlier this year because I am a, a, I do what I say. I am always learning, always growing, always looking for better, more efficient, more effective ways of doing things. I'm always working on me and how can I be better so that I can serve the people that I'm here to serve better. And one of the models I came across, and I, I don't remember who I learned this from, so I'm feeling kind of guilty about that, but it's just a Venn diagram, and, and everybody loves Venn diagrams, right? Because we know that at the intersection point, that's where the magic lies. That's where there's infinite possibilities and potential. So the person that did this, and I don't remember who it was, I'm gonna have to look it up, but um, they said, okay, there's mindset, motivation, and there's methods, and we need all three, and we have all three, right? We have processes and ways that we do things. We have our mindset and our thinking and our beliefs. We have motivation, which incidentally comes from within. No one can motivate us to do anything. I used to joke that I wanted to have an electric cattle prod to, to get my kids to do the things I needed them to. I got that from my mom, by the way. She used to always say that, I'm gonna get an electric cattle prod to get you girls moving. And she, of course she never would, but it was a funny joke. Uh, but motivation comes from within us. And we all have our own sense and we all march to the beat of our own drum based on what feels right for us. So anyway, at the intersection of, of mindset and motivation and, and methods, how we do things, there, there is inspiration between where mindset and motivation meet, right? We get ideas, we're inspired, and we want to take action, but we might not have the methods that we need to, in order to act. We might say, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. I really want to do it, but I don't really know how. So between methods and motivation, we're motivated and we now get the methods, there's implementation. That means we'll do something, we'll take action about it. And between mindset and methods, that's where our ideas come from. That's where, you know, we've, we've got methods, we have processes and ways of doing things. We've got knowledge and skills and we apply that, we use our mind to think of ideas of how we can apply that. So with brainstorming, we come up with the ideas and then we, we marry that with what we are already capable of, resources, skills, abilities, or what we know that we can get help from other people on. And at the integration, the little center point of the Venn diagram, that is where limitless possibility lies. And so when I am looking for who I wanna serve, what I'm good at, I wanna look at where do these three aspects of myself intersect because that's my genius zone and that's where I can best serve other people. And then I just have to ask myself, okay, if this is my genius zone, if this is how I can best serve other people and the best problems I can solve for them, who are them and where do I find them? So that was my aha yesterday. I'm like, oh, I have this great model. I'm totally forgetting about it. I love Venn diagrams. What and where does this intersect for me? So it's just a little tool you could use to help you decide what action to take. Now, I am already taking action, I think I mentioned that yesterday, on narrowing this down. I'm doing a challenge, I'm doing um, some work on my Lynn Grabhorn, let me grab her. Oh, wrong book. In the Live and Grabhorn, excuse me, your life is waiting playbook. And I actually enlisted the help of one of my sisters yesterday. We were on a drive for several hours um, working on a project and we got to talking about patterns because one of the things I'm learning about in Lynn Grabhorn's book, which I've known about but I don't always look for, it's easy for us to see patterns in other people's behavior but it's harder for us to see it in our own. So we started talking about patterns and she proceeded to tell me what some of mine are. Now, I know what these are, but I haven't been acting in a way that will break those patterns for myself. One of them is asking for help. She was like, somehow when we were growing up, you decided that you had to power through and figure out how to do everything yourself. And she said, that is a pattern that isn't working for you anymore. You need to find and allow people to help you with certain things. And, I, and I've known that for a long time that I need to ask for help, but I haven't been very good about actually doing it, actually letting people help me and um, knowing that I don't have to do everything by myself. I don't have to figure it all out. I don't have to know all the answers. Because guess what? None of us do. None of us know all the answers. So our challenge today is 
to take action. Pick one thing. I don't care what it is today. I don't care how big it is, but make a decision and never leave the scene of a decision without taking some kind of an action. Whether it's writing it in your calendar, scheduling it, whether it's you know making a phone call. So say your action is, I'm gonna call so-and-so or I'm going to send so-and-so a message on Messenger because you're connected through one of your social media networks or I'm gonna post a question on social media. As soon as you decide that, either do it immediately or schedule a time today that you're gonna do it. Put it on your calendar. And then put in the comments below what it is that you did. I'm gonna do the same thing. Today, what am I gonna do? What can I commit to doing? I am going to ask on social media and start testing out my desired niche market. My The problem I'm gonna solve for people in a niche market, I'm gonna start asking questions in at least three groups, one of my own and at least two other people's groups uh, about that. And if that's something that they want, if that's a solution, if that's a problem they've got and a solution they're looking for. And I'm gonna test that out in one specific market and see how it works. We'll see how it works. Uh, I am going to, I need to narrow it down some more. I was gonna say women, but I need to narrow that down some more because that's still, come on, women, women business owners even, is too broad and too big a group. And uh, I know who I'm not gonna target. <laughs> I'm not gonna target coaches. I'm not gonna target and work with, although I do work with a lot of people that are coaches, I'm not gonna target them. Um, they're not my ideal client. Um, as coaches, coaches know everything already. They don't need a, but we all need coaches. I have lots of coaches and mentors, uh, but a lot of coaches don't think that they need coaches. And so it's, it's hard to convince people to do something that you're not doing yourself. That's why the best coaches are those that have already been there and done that. All right, that is all I've got today. I want you to take action. I'm gonna take action right along with you. Let's see how it works. Let's see what works, what doesn't work. I don't know if I've said it before, but action, taking action, doing something, anything, just making a decision and moving toward and acting on that decision immediately overcomes any fear or any procrastination or any excuses for not moving toward what we want. Um, and there's, there's lots of tricks. And if we want to talk about ways to do that faster and easier, hit me up in the comments below. Um, I have some favorite strategies of my own. I always say that one of the hardest things we do every single day, and especially uh, this came from my work in chronic pain and having chronic pain, is literally getting out of bed in the morning. One of the hardest things we ever do is just, when the clock, our alarm clock goes off, is getting ourselves out of bed and getting moving because momentum sets in. Once we start moving, it becomes easier and easier and easier and easier. All right, that's it. Take some action today. Get some momentum. Get moving. Get up and go. Go do this. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to take long. But taking an action toward what we want is demonstrating to ourselves, improving to ourselves and the world that we're serious about it. So take that action today. If I can help you in any way, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow to talk about the P in our SOAP framework. Take care and I'll be with you tomorrow.